Omea from Flip Switch Media. I'm going to be on the online prosperity show talking all things video, all things video marketing, and I'm so excited to get you guys started. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the online prosperity show. And today I brought you the video strategist herself, Mia. Mia, how are you doing, my love? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today on the show where we're going to be talking all things video and content creation. Now, if you're watching this video right now, you would understand that we are always bringing in experts and people that know a thing or two about the uh, topic that we're going to be talking about. Now, Mia here um, has built her company Flip Switch Media that basically helps people with video strategies and a video content plan and a content creation for people and businesses in Geelong and Melbourne here in Victoria. Now, obviously, if you're a business person, you would understand that video is the closest media that your customers um, are getting connected to your business and your brand more than ever before. And people at Flip Switch Media, they're creating this content and they're making it easier for you to engage with your audience so that you can create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. Now, Mia, I could go on and on and shout your accolades and talk till the cows come home, but you're the expert in this whole uh, field. Tell us a little bit about how you got started and what Flip Switch Media actually does for uh, the people in Geelong and Melbourne. Awesome. Well, I actually got started um, in production in normal television, um, in everyday television, um, prior to things like streaming, Netflix and things like that, um, when I was 16, um, so almost 20 years ago. Um, I was working on a few different productions and worked on commercials and things like that. Um, and sort of saw what was happening in social media and the internet. Like we were already using Facebook at that time to get um, people onto our reality dating show that we were working on. Um, so I saw what it could already do. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go out and do my own thing. I always wanted to have my own business. I kind of just assumed I'd always have my own business and my own production company. Um, so that's where I wanted to hit. You know, I saw that, the digital internet world was going to be awesome for video and awesome to be able to connect with people and video being the medium that I love so much. That's just how it all came to be. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that uh, background story yeah. there. So now that we know that you're a professional um, and you know your way around the camera, both um, in front of it and behind it, that yeah. normally causes a lot of stress and panic to um, a few uh, business people. What sort of advice do you give to people when they sort of are starting with you and they're a little bit, um, you know, cringy when it comes to, you know, being in front of the camera? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people that it's not comfortable. You know, it's, it's not your normal everyday life to be in front of the camera. Like you and I are used to this sort of thing, but it is something that takes practice. You have to get used to it. Um, when it comes to sort of the technical side of things, I think people get nervous about it because they're seeing themselves differently than how they see themselves in the mirror. The way you see yourself on video is how your friends and how people outside of you see yourself. So it's not a way that you're used to. And people can, or also, especially business owners that are, you know, high achieving, <laughs> big, amazing people, um, can be quite self-conscious and, you know, really aware of what they look like. What I like to talk about with my clients is that, you know, you're getting out there and doing these videos, especially sort of the ones that you see on our social media page where we're actually just talking, you know, using our smartphone, talking about different topics similar to this, um, is actually more about the authority and it's more about the knowledge that we want to get out there. It's got nothing to do with how we look. We've just got something that we want to give our audiences. And that's what you want to do as a business owner as well, is to use video to connect and build that trust. If they can see your face, if they can see that there's a human behind the business, behind the social media account, it does build a lot more authority, a lot more authenticity. And it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. I know it's uncomfortable at the start, but practice makes perfect and you, you get used to it. I've had clients, you know, I was just over in Fiji um, and spoke to this lovely lady, Jackie, who's a digital marketing 
um, guru in the fashion industry, she was so nervous about doing videos. She's had people for years telling her to do videos and, you know, telling people how she even got into all the different industries she's been in. And she just didn't really know what to do. It was sort of a scary, challenging thing that she just went, you know what, I don't have time. I'm going to come up with a thousand different excuses. You go, well, you know what? Her business has actually been a detriment to that as well because then she hasn't been able to convince her clients to do the videos as well. And we did a video on Fiji together. She was a natural. <laughs> Just an absolute natural. I, you know, we sat, we did an interview, we chatted about it. It was comfortable. It was interesting. And she has so many comments and so much engagement. It's just, it's, it's worth being a little bit uncomfortable at the beginning. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. It's always at the edge, edge of your comfort zone that um, all the goodness actually resides. So thank you so much for bringing that uh, uh, side, um, you know, uh, into the, into the topic. Now, obviously, Maya, you would notice that uh, when we were growing up, you know, TV was flawless. You know what I mean? Like people would go in 30 minutes in an episode and everything was done. People would not miss their lines. They, everything was correct. The lighting was good. The clothing was perfect. The makeup was on point. And that's the sort of um, level of you know perfectionism that we have grown up with now do you think that is still the same that if you are going to show up at least on video you really have to um you know look like a uh, celebrity that's um you know walking out of um, hollywood uh, just so that people would you know pay attention to your work you know what i'm really hoping that we're starting to actually believe the people that are coming forward um with the body body positivity and the whole you know beauty is your natural self um yeah we grew up in an era where you know you had to be amazingly stunning to get any kind of video time um and it's bullshit sorry like <laughs> it's cool because you're if you are a male female whatever you like to be you have an amazing ability in your mind whatever it is that you're interested in whatever it is that you are skilled in you have something to say and i think that's all that matters now i don't care what you look like everybody is beautiful everyone should be proud of themselves because unless you are actually a model unless you are actually showing up a beautiful hairstyle or some sort of beautiful makeup then you know what you are worth being in front of the camera and you and you should be understanding that it's what you say and how you act and the values and morals that you're putting forward not that you've had you know two hours in makeup which is boring as batch okay guys really boring <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> I, can, I can testify to that, uh, Mia, because um, as, as soon as I got into Australia, I went into the whole film industry and I was always getting uh, parts as, as an extra. And um, when you be, get behind the scenes, and I actually urge a lot of uh, entrepreneurs to actually just uh, try and do that so that they can actually see the behind the scenes of all these uh, TV shows that what appears to be um, is, is not real. You know what I mean? It's all green screens and uh, smoke and mirrors, so to speak. It's all and lies. <laughs> <laughs> and if okay. anyone... Oh, if you're going to be an extra, know that you're going to be sitting around for six hours and you'll be like working for six minutes. Absolutely. Um, we, we, have a, we have a joke and we say they, it's, it's a hurry up and wait uh, industry. You know, you, you, you have a cold time in the morning and then you wait all day. It's a good thing if they're feeding you though. So that makes, that makes it up. That does help. We like that. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, you just made me relive a memory then. Um, so talking about, um, you know, this whole video uh, expose that has just since come up, um, you know, when, when, when maybe the camera has a glitch and then we see the behind the scenes or when they take us on a tour behind the scenes, we see all this equipment, we see all this lighting, we see all these cameras and all these computers and screens behind them. And those people that we follow have all these gadgets that are falling out of every crevice in their office. Um, that, that also might intimidate, uh, people. What, what's your take? on uh, people, um, you know, indulging in video when it comes to, you know, their technological uh, scale or appetite? 
Well, yeah, I think it's, you've got to come to the point where you're comfortable. You know, obviously as a production company, we have a couple of different cameras. We, you know, do professional productions. Um, but even so, usually, my, usually when we send a team out, maximum three people are out shooting because we like to keep things as calm and natural as possible. And technology as it is now is really allowing that to happen. You know, a business owner can be in their office, which at home, in a corporate office, in a big workspace, and you can use your smartphone, maybe a tripod. If you really want to, you can get the Rode lab, smart lab microphone to add extra quality and do videos that way. You can do a time lapse, you can do slow motion, you can do an insane amount of really cool stuff on your phone. So I think the way technology has gone, yeah, you're still gonna have the really big productions for TV, but that's a whole other different ball game. That's a whole other different world. And it doesn't, like small businesses, corporate businesses don't even have to go into that world. Like when I was doing TV ads, uh, I tell people this all the time, when I was doing TV ads, it was minimum $10,000 to get an ad up with the whole crew, all of the equipment, all of the gear, all the lights, all the gaff. Um, now you can pretty much get enough content for three months, six months for the same amount that we used to pay the caterers. <laughs> you know, because things can be simplified now, technology has allowed us to do things a lot faster and a lot better to the highest quality. And I can also add in there as well that because of the way social media works and because of what we're used to now, you don't even have to have the highest of quality for people to watch. You just have to be interesting. You just have to be engaging. It's as simple as that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I like that comment, especially how it is actually empowering to some people that feel or think that just because they don't have, um, you know, all the shiny equipment that other people are boasting about that you can't actually put out content as long as you're interesting and you've got value. Um, you know, people would be more than happy to uh, watch your videos. Now, there's this, um, uh, you know, debate going on on the internet, how people's attention span has, you know, dwindled and, um, you know, how long videos actually should be. Do you have a comment as to when people are putting content out there, how they should, um, you know, how long they should actually sit there and actually produce a meaningful content that people can consume? Yeah, well, we actually go by, again, pretty much the same logic um, and values of if it's interesting, it, you can go for as long as you like. Um, the structure that we follow, and it's really interesting because Gary V, um, if you know him, he started to actually put it out. He's like this you know, business social media mogul genius dude i was doing this before him okay um putting out long form video of things that are interesting um, especially about professional work and what we actually do is um talk to the client about then actually creating 30 second 15 second and 10 second pieces out of the same content so it's one of those things that you know if people are interested they're going to watch the whole video. We still highly recommend anything interesting and the smack bang, woo, this is what the video is, needs to be in the first 10 seconds. So it's not the whole, hi, how are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. No, tell the people what exactly they're going to be getting in the first 10 seconds and then continue on the rest of the video. And then make sure you use that content to get shorter ones. Because people might go back, watch the shorter ones. If they're not, they don't really know you that well to, you know, to put faith and, you know, want to hold on to their attention for that long. But they may watch a shorter one and then go back to the longer one. If people love what you say, they're going to listen for a long time. Absolutely. It's just, Depends on what you want to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Because while you were thinking that, I just remembered that um, some people can sit through a movie that goes for two and a half hours, but can't yeah. stand a two second video of Chihuahua yeah. woman or something like that. that <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So that actually clarifies the point there. But no, obviously... Um, you brought up a very interesting point there, uh, Mia, that uh, people that are already doing that kind of stuff in, in, in the space are recommending that you chop up your content and you were already doing that uh, prior, which means you're a thought leader in this space that you know knows most of these things before they're actually published. What if 
I'm just prosper from the block. I know nobody, I know nothing. I have no TV experience. I don't even know what equipment needs to be done, but I've got a message. And I know that message needs to go out to people. How can you, um, you know, empower somebody who's just not well versed with um, the goings in and out of video technology to um, get abreast to what is actually happening at the moment? Well, I think the best way to look at it is to just start doing your research, look into what other people are doing, um, see what kind of videos they're doing, have a listen to the experts and what they're saying to do. Um, I know people love using Facebook Live. If you're not, I guess you're not versed in editing and things like that, then maybe start with doing Facebook Lives just on your smartphone. Um, just take some video, have a practice, get it out there and just see what kind of content people are watching and what people are listening to. I think one of the things, like what I always tell my clients is actually just do it. Just do the videos and see what happens. Because the awesome thing about social media and about digital marketing is that everything, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, LinkedIn, all of the above have insights and data that you can easily access. I know that's probably a lot for people that aren't really, you know, versed in the social media world, but just have a look around, like set up your page and see what happens. There's an insights tab at the top. You can see what's happening with the different pages and you can see what's happening with different posts. And then just have a look at what people, what else people are watching and just, just get your knowledge out there. Just give people, give people something. Don't sell them anything. Give them something, give them information, give them, give them you and see what happens. Absolutely. The, the, if people who have are like, you know, I've got something to say, I've got something to say, then say it. There's no excuses anymore. You can have a phone, you can do it on your laptop, find a way. If you don't have a phone, ask a friend, just put it up. You can, you, there are ways to do it. You can do it. So clearly there's no excuse to be not putting video out there then, uh, Mia. Not through me. I'm sick of having yourself and listen to my clients. Being, oh, you know, I'm just really busy. I'm really No, <laughs> no time. It's a human, social media is a human resource. Creating videos is a human resource. I call this, you know, my, my working on my business hours. You know, creating these videos is me giving back to my clients and to my audience and helping them out and helping them be able to create an even bigger and awesome business. So to me, this isn't, this isn't anything. This isn't a waste of my time. This is amazing. And it should be the same way with every other business owner. Absolutely. Well, I really appreciate that you took some time with us so that you could uh, share your knowledge. A little passionate. <laughs> I mean, obviously, uh, gauging from the uh, time that you started, you know, in corporate TV and now you're doing it for uh, small to medium businesses, um, yeah. you would have come across some people who have had big, big transformations within themselves, within their business, all because they chose to look at the, uh, the barrel of the, uh, the lens um, of, the, of the camera. Do you know any stories or any people that you've worked with or colleagues or some people that would have had a big transformation just because they chose to show up on video. I've had a lot of clients, um, you know, go from completely freaked out to, uh, to me just going, all right, well, we're just doing the video and let's just see what happens. Um, I've one particular one, you know, I, I work with him. He's a marketing you know, expert and brand expert. And he was, he never did any video. He was telling people to do video. He was recommending his clients to us, but he was never doing it himself. So I kind of just started forcing it on him because his knowledge was great for my Facebook page as well. Um, we only started putting the videos up on my Facebook page. Um, you'll, you'll see them there on the flip switch page. Um, and right at the beginning, it would take me hours to go to, I would set up the camera and be like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and it would take me ages. Now he's got um, things written up on topics on the whiteboard of, of any, anything that he wants to talk about. He'll get me up to start doing the videos and we'll sit and we'll have a discussion. And he loves it now. He's been, then he's now been asked to be a part of a think tank um, for marketing and along the surf coast. Um, he's been asked to do different seminars about digital marketing hacks. So it's really sort of, I guess, helped him to become authority, but also realize that he knows his, himself. He knows what he's doing. Um, 
And so I really like that. And I love being able to do that for my clients. A lot of them now are just like, yeah, I'm going to do a video because I know of that topic and you know, people need to know. I'm like, yeah, do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. This is such good news. And I mean, obviously somebody who's sitting and watching this video right now, it could be 2019, it could be 2025, or it could be tomorrow. And they yeah. want to get a hold of you because, you know, you've probably energized them and you've probably motivated them to just go and do it. Like you say, yeah, what's the best sure. way? <laughs> just do it. Um, what's the best way that people can get a hold of you there, Mia? Um, well, look, they can find us on um, Flip Switch Media um, on the Facebook page. Just hit me up with a message. Um, always connecting really well via comment or direct message um, with, with anybody who wants to chat. Absolutely love it. Or our website, flipswitchmedia.com.au. Just, just hit me up. Let's talk. Absolutely. And if you're watching this right now, just do it. You know, Mia has had um you know vast amounts of experience from corporate tv to right now working with small to medium businesses in and around geelong and melbourne um and basically she's helping them tell their story through the medium of video now Mia, i did mention um you know before we asked where how people can get a hold of you that maybe they're watching in 2025 and obviously you've seen video come of age from when it was uh, robust cameras, you know, studio cameras and boom mics and everything else, um, you know, come um, up until it's now, you know, lavaliers and um, just your yeah. mobile phone. What do you think um, the next years are going to be presenting in terms of uh, video and how our customers are going to be responding to our brands, um, you know, through that modality? Yeah, I think, um, I think the use of um, video for passing on information is going to continue. Um, I think it's a really great medium to keep up that trust um, and authority um, within the business. I know we're moving a lot into, um, say, like voice control um, and, sort of, and voice is becoming quite a huge deal. Um, by the way, you can actually turn all of your videos into podcasts, which just makes for another content, by the way, just slide that one in. Um, but there are so many different things you know we're looking into the voice control world and also into ai um and i know people are working on holograms so i don't think it's a medium that's going to be disappearing anytime soon it's just going to get better better quality and a lot easier for you to do you know even our drones now you can you can have it attached to your wrist and just say go and it'll start filming so i think that's definitely the way we're going to be looking at things um and I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Mia, I think from what you've said and from the value that you've dropped in the video so far, I can simply conclude that the closer you are to the camera, the closer you are to the bank. Because that's how yeah. customers are actually, um, you know, receiving our messages. And from what you've mentioned, people get to know you, like you, and trust you and actually start doing business with you because you're no longer just that faceless social media or that faceless business that people cannot actually relate. And even if you are not camera ready or you do not look like Beyonce, I mean, all the single ladies on social media. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Mia, I can't thank you enough for the time that you spent uh, with us on the show today and the value especially that you've dropped uh, on this particular episode here. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope some, I hope everyone's been able to get some value out of it and, and just get started on video. Just get it happening. Make it happen. Absolutely. <laughs> I want us to say this together. Just get started. <laughs> just get started. Just do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Mia.